Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Chrono Trigger. So last time, we went into what used to be Magus's fort here in 600 AD, and we took on his former seconds in command, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash, in an epic showdown, which we prevailed in. And then Ozzy died by pretty much making a fool of himself because, um, for some reason, and I don't know how, a cat that looked like Kronos in 1000 AD showed up and hit a switch that made Ozzy drop like a rock. Which I don't understand why that happened, but it did. So we've now been looking for the next side, set of side quests to continue um, looking for, and you guys have been recommending to me very strongly to go look in the Northern Ruins. Um, I had the opportunity to try and look at the Northern Ruins off camera, um, when I first um, started to try and look for side quests because I wanted to get all of my of the black chests that were available and the only place that I could not get black chests from was the northern ruins and I could never find out why because I could not get very far well thanks to you guys I finally understand now why that is so I'm back here at 600 AD still and I've come to this town so I'll show you where the northern ruins are they're right over here now, I have to um, come down here to talk to some specific people, and I had to look up a guide for this because I'm quite sure that um, it's not just um, enter the ruins and do what you have to do. So yeah, I went on to GameFAQs to look up this information. So I have to start by going into a... Uh, into a... Um, I want to start by going into a cafe that's here in the town of Chorus. Here we are. And we'll speak to the drinker. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. So once he has done that, we have to, um... Make sure I'm reading this right. I also talk to the tool at the sidebar because... So now I have to warp to the same place in a thousand. Let's make the quick jump. Need to step just back slightly. And this is now the inn. And yeah, we have another drunk. Hey, bring me more, some more soda. Sir, I think you've had enough today. Pipe down, I'll tell you what I have, I've have had enough. Can't you say I love soda pop? And I thought you were drinking beer. You wanna borrow my tools? Be my guest, I'm busy here, so go get them for my wife. And so we now have to go speak with his wife, and she is gonna be in one of the houses. Is it this one? My husband's never around, and apparently she's a fan of the Honeymooners because, um, wow. Who would have thought a woman would speak like Ralph Cramden? What? His tools? Oh, hold on, they're right here. And apparently uh, she's trying to get them from above the refrigerator. Got one tools. Which is grammatically terrible. Okay, so next, um... So once I've done that, I have to go back to 600. This is a bit convoluted, to be quite honest, but... I, I think it's about time that we saw more convoluted quests, and it's about time I had the opportunity to go up to these black chests that I have not yet obtained. Also as well, you'll notice that the position of the fountain is different between the two time periods. In 1000 AD, it's a little more to the right, but here in the in 600 AD, it's right in the middle of town. That's so weird. And then we go back to the drunk. You've got some tools there. Will you lend them to a buddy? I think I want to. Talk to Kay, talk to Kay, and give him the tools. Yes. Thanks a lot, now I can get to work. 
Oh, I thought he was um going to give it to a friend of his. All right. And so now we can go into the northern ruins. So let's go ahead and take a save here real quick. There we go. All right, northern ruins. Now, where are our people? Okay, yes, as you can see, um, for proof of concept, I w came in here before and I couldn't access these doors because they, um, there were big potholes. Meaning that it was difficult for me to even get the opportunity to try and get into here. Um, and for some reason, I don't know why we didn't, couldn't find the, um, well, we couldn't find the man. But yeah, let me show you what I mean. The sentries here are only susceptible to magic attacks. So therefore you have to use magic on them. And which means that unfortunately this leaves Isla out. So I probably might want to switch to someone else who can um, cast magic. But this is some of the stuff they do. They'll siphon HP off of you. Um, let's give a mid tonic to Frog. And we'll keep casting life 2, or lightning 2, and water 2. That's so weird. Okay, now that he de does a thing called Grudge, and, that, and that's the death move that he does. It takes qu uh, quite a bit of health, and obviously if it takes off too much, you die. Are those two? That's so weird. Um, anyway, I should be healing Frog right now. And yeah, when they st and then when they strike you normally, they take off half of your health. In all instances. Um. Get one to a Chrono here. Yeah. You notice, um, that he dodged my counterattack. Heal. Yeah, especially since Isla is in a bit of a bad way. So we need to take care of that. Get ourselves closer to full. And now they're gonna siphon off a frog. Yeah, kiss yourself there, Isla. And you two, stop doing that. Alright, here we go. They're not dead yet. Especially since I need to heal myself again. And if you're wondering, can't Isla use any of her texts to do damage? The answer is no. Yeah, sadly, the answer is no. And man, they're just not leaving Frog alone, but they know who the healer is, so they're attacking the right opponent. They know exactly where to fixate their attention on. They're not dead yet. Jeez. I got you guys already. Thought I'd done enough. But yeah, as you can clearly see, like, this is a place where you're really gonna have a lot of your MP drained. So be prepared to come with Ethers of Plenty. And I'm worried that I may have, um, screwed over Chrono. Okay, he's using MP Busters, so if he uses that, you lose all your MP automatically no matter what. And then the second one is Grudge, okay. So yeah, those are both of their moves for when they're about to die. They'll either take all your MP, or they'll um, take off about 300 points. Now I tried to open this chest before. Oh, okay. 
I could have sworn I never did. Um, let's, um, give myself a refill on health. And also a refill on MP, because, yeah, I got drained a bit. I was hoping to get away. But no, they're not gonna give me that luxury. Alright, I survived that. But, yeah, you kinda see my point here. But where did that guy go? Because I'm following this guy... And I don't know where the heck he went. Um, let me check the residence again. Yeah, here you are. Thanks for lending me those tools. Now I can finally get to work. I guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you. So all I had to do is come over and find him here in his house. All right. Some game. Might as well come back to the mar over the market here, because I do want to buy some stuff back, including three mid ethers, which, yeah, as you can see, they're insanely expensive. They are definitely not cheap at all. We yeah, all have to make a point to. Um, switch someone out here for my party because it doesn't look like well I guess it depends on if it's not just the sentries and there's more than just them because if there's more than just them then maybe Isla can actually fight but then for all I know these could be ghosts and that's why we can't fight them under normal circumstances then why you can only use magic well let's go find out We're done for now. We can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. <laughs> so yeah, then away they run. Well, let's start dealing with stuff. Oh, well, they opened this, this hole. They opened that door. But I don't think they opened um, the door at the bottom. Oh, this is free now. All right. But unfortunately, that door is not yet open. So they could only fix one of the holes before they got scared off. Alright, well, we're finally free to go. I can see where you, what you guys are at. And what you're all about. Oh, and you two chased me anyway. Okay. Can I attack you normally? Also, I should be giving a kiss to Frog because he might die. Yeah, give a kiss to the frog, because he might die. Aha, you missed. Twice. So, yeah, allow me to heal in the meantime. Yeah, allow me to heal in the meantime and take advantage of your misfortune. I should also probably, um, have used a shelter before I started moving further down, or moving further into the ruins. Yeah, might have, might have been a good idea. But let me kill these guys first, because, yeah, they're having a hard time scoring any damage against me at all. Which I, honestly, don't mind. Yeah, gotcha while well, not even looking at you. Yeah, you, you'll get, you were shaking there quite a bit. In fact, you're still shaking. <laughs> you're scared, aren't you? You're getting really scared. Yeah, well, take this. Look how scared he is! Well, he finally stopped being scared because Frog's down to 1 HP. But not before we kill him off. Well, at least we killed him off. And Frog did gain a level. But yikes. Yeah, I, sh I should have, um... I should have healed my party before I started this. Use a shelter. So yeah, let's do that. Um, shelter... I can't believe I only have two of these left. But by the looks of it, things are fine now, and I don't need to worry on whether or not I'm gonna have enough um, stuff with Isla, or if she's even gonna be relevant in this place. Thankfully, that, it, that question has been answered. And it seems like no matter where I go, I'm gonna have to deal with this crap. 
Alright, they're gone. I'm pretty sure I'll have to get you guys again over on the left, but I also need to take care of you guys up here as well. And in that last battle, Chrono gained a level. Oh, we can't go, can't go up with another door. So do, you, do we have to clear all of them out at once, and then the workers come back, and then we have to keep repeating the process? And Nyla gained a level in that last battle. Okay, so... I guess we have to now go talk to them again, because so, yeah, there's the one black chest that I was talking about. So do we have to leave, come back, and keep repeating the process every time? Because, yeah, if not, I'll be a bit confused. So let's go back to this guy's house. Where's our drunk? There you are. 2,000 gold coins, uh-oh. Well, yeah, get to it. We cleaned out the monsters for you, But now we have to pay these guys? Oh boy. Yeah, hired, hired help is hard to find. Um, thankfully I can afford it. Thankfully I can afford it. But now it's time to see how much progress they've- how much more progress they've made. But you have actually made repairs, right? Right? And is it gonna be more than 2,000 every single time? Hey, you didn't finish the doll! What did you do? And you didn't finish this one either? Or that one? Did you finish the one in the basement? Tell me you finished the one in the basement. Okay, good, you did. Yeah, I was about to get mad at you for no reason. Although I still have all the reason to get mad at you. Okay. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus slash Giannis rests here. So this is where he <laughs> is found resting. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. Oh, you're pointing out Masamune? And what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to bring his spirit out of his grave. Cyrus. Glenn. Thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus. Thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Giannis defeated me, I thought all of those whom I had left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lena, and of course you. Cyrus. Your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I... I... And then he disappears. So is this place no longer haunted? The Queen. Look after Queen Lena. And the loss fell well, Glenn. Yeah, <laughs> emotional moment. I'm so sorry, Cyrus. Wait a minute. The Masamune? Oh, what happened? Oh, it's flying away? Or it's just spinning wildly out of control before it flies away? Oh, it's Masa and Mune <laughs> returning to their original forms. So yeah, we lose the sword. That was special! Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. 
Like, mind over matter, Mune. My... mind? Now for yummy full-on tests. Oh, great. It's Thra... So we have to... <laughs> rematch against Masa and Mune. How comforting. Yeah, take the sword back. Is flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, tis the true identity of the Masamune. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. Onward all. Oh, we're not going to be, um, rematching against Masa and Mune? So does this mean that the um, construction team will finally finish the rest of this place off? Because, yeah, we paid $2,000 to have that cutscene, pretty much. And have the Masamune um, get a special glow. Does that mean it's enhanced? You want the Northern Ruins prepared? 2,000 gold. Yep. I want the rest of the treasure in there, and I'm not going to stop until I get it. Hopefully this time, um, with all those enemies dealt with, I can... Oh, they changed the name of it! To Hero's Grave, okay. You're done? Well, yeah, I guess I'm not surprised. So, yeah, what all did you not finish this time? If I may ask. Oh, you got... This open for me. An elixir on this side. Now tell me the one with the black chest is open. It is! Yes! Give me the contents. Yes, we're taking the contents. We're getting Nova armor. There we go. And then, what's further up? If I dare ask. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, we got another enemy encounter. All right. All right, they're dead. Let me go ahead and give a little healing to our party. And then further up. Okay. Um, do I keep going or do I leave it for the rest of the episode, rest of the day? Um, let's keep going. Might as well deal with you guys. Oh, new enemies. I guess I'm glad I did decide to continue. So yeah, let's cut you guys down. Also, I should um, see who this normal ar armor is best on. I also need to... Um, that, that one skeleton now will not fight anymore. So we can start weakening his friend, and then I can cast water when the time is right. Okay, he just collapsed. Alright. Or we can even cast Lightning 2. But I don't know what you two ghost enemies react to. Okay, you're strong against Lightning, apparently. Um, let's find out what water does on you. Not much more. Okay, you're dead now. Now let's start fighting... You guys. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Frog survived that ordeal. No damage. Oh, crap. Well, then. I need, um, a heal. So, yeah, is, is uh, magic the only way to damage these guys? Because I can end up burning a lot of MP here. And to be honest, I don't even know, um, what you guys are gonna be strong against, against anything else. Ow. Okay, he, that one's dead, alright. So yeah, just keep going on the magic. Just keep going on the magic and we'll be fine. Um, regular lightning. Meanwhile, Frog, can I get you to heal again? 
Okay, you yeah, guys wondering like, oh, I hope I don't, they don't have a really huge amount of MP. Or HP, rather. Because that would have made this a slow and tedious fight. Okay, we made it to the end, but we still have to fight these guys off. And in that battle, Frog gained a level. So I guess we made it to the end of the ruins. So what are we getting? We are getting our hands on... A Kali Blade. And in the other chests, we're getting our hands on a siren. So let's take a look at the contents that I got. So Kali Blade is for Chrono. It increases HP or attack by three points. You can be equipped with the Nova Armor, and it increases MP by seven. Okay, protect status. So it's the same as the Vigil Hat. Can anyone else be equipped with this? Yes. So that means I don't have to grind for another... Um, I don't have to grind for another, um, one of the Vigil Hats. I can if I want to. And I know where they're sold. But yeah, now I know, uh, now I have a better idea of what, what I'm getting myself into. Oh, and you are now equipped with the Masamune, and you're... Um, attack is now the strongest of anyone. Alright, so, yeah, I was right. They did enhance the Masamune. Okay, so I guess there's nothing left for us to do here in the Northern Ruins. So I guess this episode is done. So we'll call it here, and next time we'll see what the fruits of our labor look like, I guess. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Chrono Trigger. And when I join you again... We will go to 1000 AD, see what the ruins look like at that time, and then in addition to that, we will see what other side quests will be good for us to take. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew and Overall Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.